Hello everyone, welcome back to Late Station Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2. I'm doing this during a live stream and we have to figure out how to rescue Bob who is currently stranded in orbit around Lathe. And we will do that with our space plane, but we need to make modifications to our space plane to make sure it doesn't have the same mishaps that it did the last time. Of course it could have completely new mishaps, but we'll try to avoid those. So we are going to reconfigure the RCS ports. That was part of the problem, but most importantly, we need to add a reaction wheel. A nice, big, hefty reaction wheel. Now, we don't want to kill the balance of this too much. We didn't need that much methane. I don't want to change the structure of this too much. So I think uh, ultimately we'll underfuel it. For now, I'm just uh, dumping all the fuel to see where the reaction wheel ought to go. Well, uh, we need to refresh that center of mass. Okay, put it right there. That won't change too much. And then probably many more RCS ports, but let's get the fuel back in. I don't know how they arrange these in here, but... Okay, I definitely... I'm just gonna pack, let's say, half the... Not the hydrogen. <laughs> not the hydrogen. Half the methane. I feel like we probably should just having a station. You know what? We're going to go with the big docking port so this can dock centrally and at a more convenient location on the station. Um, okay, I need to pick that up and place it again. Oh, that is not right. Well, there's probably a glitch associated with the radial attachment point. I will just point this out to any dev who cares to watch or something. When you pick it up and put it back, the thing attached to it seems to go at a 90 degree angle. I've noticed this consistently, so it's just a thing. So this is the docking port that most often is on the station. It's really inconvenient to put it on here. Mass-wise, it's double, but... Convenience-wise, it's priceless. We probably needed more mod propellant. All the struts are messed up. Okay. I have no idea why it was rotating the way it was. But we're gonna try and make sure all the RCS is placed center line. And those are about equidistant. Well, I mean, the docking port is closer to those, but not by that much than it is to these. We had placed the medium-sized docking port on here before, but in order to fit this onto the station on the location where the medium-sized docking port is, we'd have to put it up here, which isn't very well balanced. So I decided to go with the big docking port there. But obviously it's more mass and more drag. So that's not nice. But we had so much trouble last time, I don't want to duplicate that again. I think I just want these linear ones in the center line here. Right on the reaction wheel. Now eh, maybe I should put it in the front of the reaction wheel. Because otherwise this one's got to blow out the wing. I think I need more RCS tanks than I have now. I think I'm gonna tuck it in at the wing root. Make sure that's symmetrized. Okay, well let's double that. Okay, and I had thought I had action grouped the engines before, but... Yeah, they are action grouped. Toggle engine. Toggle engine. But... Uh, didn't seem to work. Oh, camera. Well, it's Dawn. I'm not going to risk time warping. We'll just go into the sunlight. Nothing has broken yet. Alright. Wish I could use my joystick. Here we go. <laughs> Always wish I could use my joystick. We are underfueled on the methane. There's the sun. 
It's Val. I didn't even pick who we were gonna put on. It ended up being Val. One sad thing is this can't rescue the other space plane because it doesn't have that docking port. Otherwise it could dock to the other space plane and transfer fuel over. In theory. But you know how docking is in this game right now, so I, I didn't really want to do that anyway. Will our reaction wheel be enough so that this can operate properly unlike the previous time with it, where it couldn't orient to any vector at all with the SAS? Or will that still be a problem? Well, we're less than half of our methane left. I wanted to reserve more than that, but... I think I don't want to waste too much more. Okay... Going. One still doesn't turn off the engines. The action group doesn't work. Well, at least they turn off on their own. I wonder if they plan to implement boil-off for the hydrogen tanks. They do have these separate hydrogen tanks now, after all. But maybe just the sheer size and low density of them is bad enough. That is one downside to the swerve. The density of the tanks. If they add boil off, then the swerve will effectively be nerfed. And maybe the ion engines will be worth it. I guess the Xenon is really only for the really small probes and such. Plotting to Jewel is not too bad. And of course we can never come back from Jewel. It's not allowed. So Val is going to go to Jewel and stay at Jewel. Jewel is the Hotel California. Okay, we'll just do that for now and then do a mid-course adjustment and other adjustments and whatever. Now's the test. Whether SAS with this extra reaction wheel can turn towards the node. I'll give it plenty of time. Pro uh, the maneuver node's over here. Maneuver node's over here. Well, may uh, maybe if I give... Uh, it's got a reaction wheel. If I uh, give it enough time, it'll figure it out. I think overall it's better than last time, even though it took a circuitous route. It'll, it'll settle down on the, on the maneuver node now. It just needs some reaction wheel except for the one in the pod. That one doesn't seem to work very well. Instant ignition nuclear engines. Uh, let's just have it hold steady. I don't know about holding maneuver node. Three, two, one, off. And we better have a nice little approach. No, no, we don't. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's a difference between the orange line and the blue line. So we do not have the same thing, but actually it's not too bad. I think. Jewel is huge after all. It'll suck you in. Yeah, I think we'll just take that, and we'll do a mid-course correction. Bob Kerman set as target. Well, technically... Technically, yeah. We're pretty well in line with Lathe. If this actually works... Oh, wait. That was a crashy thing. That was... Crashing into Val. That's Val. I think we'll just capture a little round jewel. Well, I suppose we should... Oh, it really puts us in there. Um, see us departing... What's the best view? No, Celestial? Maybe Celestial would be best. Body. Okay. Moon's real bright tonight. Okay. Let's see. Is this a good view? Ah, yeah. That's good. There we go. Val, departing Kerbin on her way to Jewel to rescue Bob.
Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm okay with that inclination. Why does it not want to show me my periapsis? Well, it's probably all right. Okay. On we go. Uh, 634 kilometers is still all right for Jewel, at least in KSP1. So we'll go with that. Well, yeah, turning with this, thanks to the new reaction wheel, definitely is better. Whatever is up, I mean, I guess there must be a threshold amount where if your vessel is a certain amount of mass, it doesn't like having less than a certain amount of reaction wheel with SAS, because uh, it definitely doesn't go directly to where it's supposed to go. But if you have less reaction wheel, it does worse, and then eventually it never settles down to the right location at all. But whatever that is, this pod never seems to have the right amount. <laughs> N nothing I ever want to attach to this pod uh, is sufficiently turned by the reaction wheels in that pod. Well, let's see now. I do want to target Leaf at this point. I don't think there's any point trying to change our inclination here because it's going to cost quite a lot, even if we bundle it into the capture burn. Okay. Well, yeah, it's like just a little bit off. Um, should be fine though. Let's just take that. Okay, so what we want to do is boost up to Leith Orbit. Okay. It's not actually going to show me anything, but I have learned that uh, I don't know which way around we go, is the problem. This is definitely going to crash into Leif. This is definitely not, but which way around is it? If it's the wrong way around, then we're going to have to do a radial burn anyway. So maybe we're better off just crashing into Leif. Mm -hmm. Alright, well let's find out. Okay, if I go past it, we'll see which way around we end up. Okay, well we're, we're still crashing into Leif. I didn't think Leif was that big that if you were 800 kilometers away, you'd still crash into it. But it's not supposed to be bigger than Kerbin, so that shouldn't have been the case. But well, anyway, it's not showing me the encounter ahead of time, so we always have that problem. But maybe I can do a correction now. Okay. Bob Curran's our target, but we're not going to be able to see our inclination. It looks okay. Okay, well, that's a convenient look. Jewel and Leith in line like that. That's probably acceptable. Okay, only 1.7 degree difference. We are in orbit, apparently. We are targeting Bob, right? Bob? 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 Bob. Uh, it should change the color of the icon for the thing that we're targeting, right? Or, and uh, orbit. Whatever happened to that? I mean, right? Changing the color of the orbit and the icon for the thing that we're targeting compared to other things? Anyway. Well, we're overall in better shape as far as Delta V this time, partly because we were able to turn properly. So we're coming in with 2,000, but we still need a huge chunk to rendezvous with anything. 
We're aiming for Bob Kerman here. And I, I think I need to go past 1A in order to get the read on our next one. Okay, well, I'll take that 2 kilometer. But the relative speed is 400. We'll have to watch out, but that's all right. I wish it showed me my actual distance to target here, but I guess we can look out here somewhere, wherever Bob is. Bob's there. Okay, Bob rendezvous burn underway. Where? Okay, surely I can manage the rest with Bob, right? Right, Bob? <laughs> Bob? Okay, Bob. I swear. Okay, board. All right, we've got Bob. But it still has a target that's going somewhere. <laughs> that, that always worries me when it does that. Okay. Lace space plane? No. Wait. Guys, where's our lace station? Oh, no. No! I just realized it's knocked our life station out and sent it into oblivion. The problem is, with the previous space plane, we had gone into the area, the protected area of the station, and we accidentally time warped with the space plane in order to stabilize it because it kept rolling all over the place. So. I don't even know. We'd have to go back to before that space plane encountered the station so that would be before bob's recover uh, bob getting stranded even so it wouldn't be before this mission it would be before we got to the station with the previous mission i don't know i'm going to leave it to the youtube audience to decide what to do about this do we revert because i've saved all along of course do we revert to the point before the space plane encountered the station, thereby erasing the entire valiant effort of Val to rescue Bob in order to recover the existence of the station, which is now who knows where? <laughs> and uh, Or do we just keep it like this and rebuild the station from scratch and create a whole new station and... We'll just test this space plane out on Leif, because we do have some fuel here. Uh, I don't know if we have enough fuel to go to the surface of Leif and then come back to orbit, though. So, I don't think so. So yeah, it's a bit of a conundrum. We need the station's fuel in order for this to go to the surface and then come back up. But if we don't have the station the that other space plane that we have there wasn't able to dock to the station properly anyway because it didn't seem to control itself very well without the reaction wheel so with bob and that other space plane i don't think we would be able to complete the mission anyway and bob would still need rescuing but if we revert we'll at least have the station in existence so I'm going to leave that to the YouTube audience to decide exactly what we want to do and I'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll take good arguments into account. It won't just be a matter of which side has more comments or anything like that. We'll see. Uh, I'll think about it as well. But yeah. I don't know what that piece of debris is but the station was called Combined 9 or Combined something. I think it just got smashed into lathe or something, and I just ignored it. That's the only explanation I have, because we, we have nothing else around here. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.